So 4.3 is about temperature. So in the US, we use Fahrenheit. Most other countries use Celsius. So think of like if you're traveling or baking using a metric system, you're gonna need to know how to go back and forth from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So the difference is um, Celsius has zero and 100. Everything's in between that. 100 is boiling, zero is freezing. Fahrenheit's a little different. Freezing is 32, as you know, that's where what we have here, and boiling point is 212. So we have some formulas here, and let's see. We have Celsius if we're given Fahrenheit, and then Fahrenheit if we're given Celsius. So let's do a couple examples. This one we have convert the following from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So 70 degrees Fahrenheit would be what Celsius? So degree F means degrees Fahrenheit. Degree C means degrees Celsius. So the formula that we need is we're given Fahrenheit. So it's this first one. So Celsius, oops equals five ninths times Fahrenheit or F minus 32. So notice how that's in parentheses. That means that we need to include the parentheses and calculate that first. So Fahrenheit is 70 and we're just gonna type that in our calculator. So 5 ninths times, parentheses, 70 minus 32. And we're rounding to one decimal place, so 21.1. Okay, now we go the other way. Now we want to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So we have 58 degrees Celsius. What is Fahrenheit? And that's a different formula. So Fahrenheit... F equals, and the fraction goes the other way now, 9 fifths times C plus 32. And C is 58. So from here, this is order of operations. It multiplies, then adds. So if you want to add parentheses, you can, but you don't have to. 9 fifths times 58, right, plus 32. So 136.4 Fahrenheit. And that's it for this section. You just need to determine the right formula and plug in the numbers.